beliefs are funny things. And before you can actually get into learning how to manipulate them and use them and change them to create the world that you want, you first of all have to understand what those little things actually are. And I have two different definitions for them. The first definition, and the one we're going to talk about today, is beliefs are just tiny little creation machines. And when you realize that, you understand that they're just like little mechanisms, little things that you can pull out, throw away, or plug a new one back in. That's the first definition. The second one is, and we'll be talking about this in the next video, is that beliefs are just a thought stuck on repeat. A belief is just a thought stuck on repeat. And if you want to change a belief, if you understand that it's just a thought to begin with, that you repeat so often that it becomes real, you understand that you can change that thought to begin with and change the belief. Now, but this whole creation machine thing is kind of interesting. And it's also frightening as hell if you hold on to a bunch of thoughts up inside of your head that are less than ideal for you. If you believe that you suck or I can't do anything in my life or everyone is against me or the world is against me, if you hold those thoughts inside of your head, what? Each of those thoughts, each of those beliefs is a creation machine and they're literally going to mindlessly create that particular thing. And when you get that, it, it, everything becomes a lot easier because then if they're just a little creation machine, you understand that you can change them out. But let's look at, let's go further into the definition here to understand exactly what a belief does. And I believe that they do two separate things, okay? So each belief. Now, if you hold a belief that the world is not a safe place, right? A belief will generally do two things, or it, it's, it, it's kind of function of life is to do two things. It's number one, it will end up seeing everything in your life through its own little, little goggles, right? Its own little goggles. And that belief is that the world is not safe. So kind of every incident you have in your life, every person that you meet, every interaction that you have, that belief is constantly on the lookout to see, to say, oh, yep, yeah, see, see, the world is not a safe place. This person, they disrespected you. Oh yeah, this, this, this person, oh, they said you were bad. Or else, you know what? Oh, I see, I almost got hit by a piano as I, as I was walking down the, the, the sidewalk. See, the world is not safe. And suddenly, because it keeps looking for those, it's all that it can see. It's all that that belief can see, that belief that it has. It can't see that the world is actually a quite safe place or that it's wonderful or amazing or people protect you because that's what it believes. Then the other second aspect of what beliefs do is they literally create what they believe. So they will end up responding to things and, or at least they will create in response to what it believes. So suddenly, if, if the belief is that, that you hold is that the world is not a safe place, then it will constantly, its only mission in life is to keep you safe. And so it will keep you inside your house at all times. It'll keep you locked up in a closet. It'll keep you in a huge, monstrous car that if you were to get into an accident, will keep you safe. It may cause you to buy a tank, but it keeps reacting in anticipation of whatever it believes. And that will run your life. That particular belief will run your life in that direction. Now, take the opposite one, or a, you know, a kind of an opposite one, which is that, you know what? I think I can do it, right? So let's say if you choose to do something, let's, look, let's say you choose to build a house for yourself. If you hold that belief, just a simplified version, I think I can do it. Suddenly everything that, again, every event that happens associated with that from maybe drawing up the plans or bar buying the architectural drawings of it to, to sourcing materials, to buying the materials, to actually doing the construction. In every single instance, with a someone along the way, with every particular event or thing that you do, it will reinforce that idea, that belief, 
that I can do this. Now, you get to choose, I believe, and I strongly believe because I've actually done this, you can choose what you believe in your life. And when you understand that they're just simply creation machines, suddenly the whole emotional aspect of beliefs, that they are almost insurmountable, that you can't change them, that they're this crazy thing or that you don't want to get in there, suddenly you can do something about them. You can change those things. Because let's say if you were driving down the road, right, and your car broke down, what are you going to do? Leave the car sitting there for the rest of your life because that car doesn't work or it does what it does? No, you swap out the part that doesn't work. And it's that easy and that simple. So you can swap out these beliefs. Now, this is at a small scale here, which with each individual belief. But I know for a fact, because I've done it in my life, I've begun that process of changing out all the beliefs that I don't want. Entire swaths of beliefs that did not serve me. Because what I recognize is they're just tiny little creation machines. That's all they are. Something that I can change and I can control. Now, the other thing, the other kind of aspect when you look at it in that way, is that they're just tiny little creation machines. You can almost look at them, let's say all of the thoughts in your head and in your heart and all of this, as kind of an army, right? And each individual belief that you hold is like a soldier. Now, if you're anything like me, my army has gone in all sorts of directions all at once because I got crap beliefs. I've got actually good beliefs sometimes. I believe in myself. Actually, a lot of the times I've got good beliefs. I believe in myself. I want to solve problems. I want to be a better person. But then there's those other beliefs, those little individual shoulders that say, soldiers that say, you know, I suck. Okay, that one's heading off in that direction. Then there's another one saying that, you know what, that person is pretty bad over there. And they go off in that direction, pulling you literally apart. But can you imagine if you were able to, just, you know, hypothetically here, if you were able to start to direct what beliefs you had, and if you suddenly start having all of these soldiers, all of these beliefs going in one direction, what you can accomplish. You can create the world that you want. You can create your individual reality the way you want. And it's just as simple as choosing the beliefs that you want. And in each choice of a belief, you suddenly created a new creation machine for you that will continue to head in that particular direction. It will continue to see and spot, oh yeah, yep, yep, see, I can do this. It will continue to create, to reinforce each one of those. Oh yeah, see, I can do this. So I can actually, I'm going to try the more difficult thing in building this house. I'm going to use these materials that cost a little bit more because I trust that I can do it and I'm not going to waste them. So suddenly your life starts to change and it starts to get a lot easier. Beliefs are just creation machines. It's all they are. You can swap them in and out. When they don't perform the way you want, you kick them out. You get let go of them, you release them. Sometimes you nuke them. Sometimes you get angry at them. You got to rip them out. Sometimes you have to kind of rip them out a few times. But in the end, you get to control it. You get to choose what's up inside of your head. You get to create the army that you want to head you in that particular direction, to make the magic things happen, to make yourself a fantastic person, this life that you truly want to live. And you begin to understand that because they're little creation machines, that the areas of, that you're, of your life that you don't like and don't want and that hurt you you can simply pull them out. Now, there's a whole thing that goes along with how to do that and how to make it happen. But the first thing is, is if you realize that you can do it, that it is a possibility, suddenly life gets a lot better. You can control things. You can make it happen. There is hope. You're not going to go to hell. You're going to go to hope. And you're going to make these things happen. Each belief is just its own tiny little creation machine. 
and it goes off mindlessly in your life beautifully when you choose the ones that you want, creating what it believes. I'm amazing. I can do this. People support me. People love me. Life is pretty fantastic. So if you want, try this week. Begin looking at them as just simple creation machines. And then suddenly, by knowing that, you're going to want to get in there, get your arms a little hands dirty, and start making some things happen to pull out the ones that you don't, to really focus on the ones that you do want, and watch them continue to create. You can watch your beliefs right now, today, right in this moment. Create what it is that you believe. You can watch them see what they believe in your life in every interaction and aspect and event that happens. And you can also see them create the bad things. Begin to watch for those, and you do realize that all they are are just tiny little creation machines. And it's now time to choose the ones that you want. Love you.